Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I um, achieved this makeup look here. It's a really nice full glam makeup tutorial, highlights on fleek, I feel really glowy and fresh. And I'm going to be giving you my initial thoughts on the new um, NARS foundation. I keep forgetting the name. It is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be telling you a bit about that. So um, I'm going to first of all tell you the shades that I'm in. I'm in the shade Igracu or Igracu, I don't know what the, how the pronunciation is. And this is the shade, it's basically dark three. It's D3 Igracu. Um, and um, I'm going to tell you a few things about this, this um, product. When I went to go and get my um, shade, I had, weirdly enough, had two options to choose from. So I had the options of Igracu, Igracu, whatever it is, and Nambia. Igracu is more of a cooler tone, whereas Nambia was a warmer tone. And just for my proper preferences, I thought the cooler tone would look better on me. But I could have went for that shade as well. So if you're close, to, if you're if you are my shade and you like to be a bit more, if you're on the warm tone, you could go for Nambia. This um. Um, foundation is cost 35 pounds and in dollars it's 49 dollars um they have 33 shades if i'm correct so i really really like the fact that they're inclusive and the fact that they involve every skin color is really really nice and shows that they care about everybody um i um one of my first ever foundations was a NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and I'm in love with this one as well. Um, it's one of my all time favourites so I was really really excited to try this new foundation. A few things they say about this foundation is that it is transfer resistant, sweat resistant, fade resistant, non drying, alcohol free, oil free, fragrance free. So um, this is great for people with dry and um, oily skin because when I was in this store the woman said that this is great for people with, with dry skin but it's also good for people with dry skin can use it as well, you just need to set it. But to be honest, when I was applying this makeup, um, I didn't feel like I needed to even set it in place because it was quite, it didn't need, it wasn't oily or anything like that. So yeah, I want to let you guys watch the rest of this video and see how it looks on me when I'm applying it and my, um, yeah, basically what, basically what I'm saying now is what I say when I'm applying it. So yeah, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. That'd be amazing. And I just want to say thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers. I am truly, truly grateful. I would, I have, n I never imagined that I'd reach 3,000 subscribers. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway soon, but I'm going to wait until I get to a particular, um, mark i'm not going to tell you guys when so that when i do give the giveaway it's kind of like unexpected and i don't just get i don't want to do a giveaway and get like followers just because i'm doing a giveaway i want it to be for people that are actually watching my video so yeah once again hope you enjoyed this video and we're going to get straight into this tutorial so i've really prepped my face i've primed all type of stuff i really wish i had a nice foundation um nice primer but i don't because it would have been nice to use the nice foundation with a nice primer but i'm okay not having one so i'm gonna pump two um pumps on my hand and i'm gonna place it around my face and just see how the coverage goes i've only just put that around my um it's not gonna be enough for my forehead nowhere near but let's just see how that goes really like the coverage of the foundation um it's covered any imperfections that i have and i did see that a few other people that did have like acne prone skin and like um, um what's it called the um, marks on acne it really did cover their skin as well so if you guys want to see other tutorials of people that do have like maybe like more problematic areas do check them out because um this coverage is really really nice and um i actually did think that um it would make me look too oily because I am oily skin and this is a radiant foundation so I was a little bit scared that it wouldn't look good on me but from what I'm seeing I don't look oily and I just look, you know, I look like I'm blessed. God is blessing me, do you know what I mean? So I really, really like that. See, I put my hands on my face and nothing is coming off. That was already there, that was when I was doing my foundation but... Yeah, nothing is really transferring but obviously during the day when you do start sweating and get a little bit more oilier, you do kind of transfer, so let's see how that goes. I'm going to be taking the NARS Soft Matte um, Concealer. This is the shade Armand. I'm trying to find a brush. Yeah, this is the shade Armand and I'm going to use that to highlight. I 
love the way um, it looks. It just makes you look so flawless. And when I take photos of um, NARS products, my skin just looks so smooth as if I don't have any like problem areas. I just love it so much. And like, um, NARS was one of the first like high-end foundations that I got because the first ever foundation that I got was a Mac was the Mac foundation. And after the Mac foundation, it was this foundation the one that I told you about. I keep forgetting the name. The All Day Luminous one. That was the second one I got. And I loved it so much and it just felt so exciting to me, like being able to buy something high end. So initially I really really like the look of this foundation, it hasn't transferred on me so far, um, it works really nicely with my other products, I like the way I look in it, um, so yeah I'm really really happy, happy for my, as, um, initially, so I might do another video just as a final review on it to say if I really really like it or in one of my next videos if I use it again I'll tell you whether or not it's been like successful for me but yeah as an initial review I'm really really happy with it it's, it's kind of doing the exact same things I as I would see in my other foundation where it's kind of like very lightweight but it's full coverage and um, I can choose how much I can apply um, and yeah I'm really really happy with it and I really really am happy that they are very inclusive and they've evolved every single skin tone and I had the fact that I had more than one option um, to choose from was really really nice because I never really get the opportunity to do that um, my camera cut off as I was speaking so I didn't realise that it wasn't recording but I just wanted to finish off by saying um, I really hope you enjoyed this review. Um, if you did please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment, that would be amazing and I will see you guys in my next video.